of the angel. In any city, in any country, go to any cemetery and find an angel statue. Any will do. And say, Show me the prisoner. If nothing happens, count yourself lucky. You may have failed the test, but your body and soul are unharmed. However, if you are considered worthy, the statue's mouth will open and emit a piercing cry. A hole will appear in the ground underneath you, and you will plunge into the abyss. Keep calm and don't scream. As long as you keep silent, you will land safely and softly. If you scream, your corpse will be food for the creatures below. Once you are on the ground, freeze. The eyes of hungry beasts fall upon you. These creatures will be creeping ever closer. Wait until they are almost upon you and scream. The shepherd got always the gentle lamb. If you time your words incorrectly, they will devour your body and corrupt your soul, leaving you as one of them. However, should you say the words at the right time, the creatures will emit an ear-splitting scream and vanish, a light, its source unknown, displaying a path for you. Keep on the path and never stray. For hours you will walk, though it will feel like days. And at the end of the path, you will see a door guarded by a being that defies true description. Its body will be composed of the most fearsome parts of the natural world. Claws to pierce your skin, tentacles to strangle you, horns to gore you and its head will be that of your greatest fear. Do not hesitate. Continue on. Should you flinch for even a moment, the creature will lunge and devour you slowly, excruciatingly painful, starting with your legs. If you possess the strength of will not to flinch or bolt, you will pass through the demon as if it were mist. Enter and you will find yourself in a dungeon, every surface coated with a thin, slick layer of blood. Do not slip. It will be the last fall you ever take. Facing you will be a man nailed to the wall, body covered in gashes and tears. His stomach will be cut, his organs lying in a limp heap on the floor. It will take a few moments to notice the ragged stubs that must have been great white wings. He will not respond, and by all accounts appear dead, until you say, Can you protect our souls from him? The once corpse will stare into your eyes, and you will see all the evil that has been wrought because of his entrapment. The acts will be so vivid and horrifying that you may go mad. But if you keep your sanity, a great white light will envelop you, and you will wake on the footsteps of the nearest church. From then on, you will feel a reassuring presence whenever in danger, one that will provide great comfort in the times to come. Your soul is now Object 306 of 538. Mind yourself for even one can make all the difference.